Hey, Keith, uh, Katie, folks, I think you're going to like what I'm about to show you. All right, we're going to dive into the tropics just briefly because, uh, number one, we only have so much time here. We could go into a lot more detail, uh, maybe maybe later, or on our website, firstcoastnews.com slash hurricanes. Uh, you can see we've got three areas, three X's um, that we are watching across the Atlantic Basin in the Caribbean. Uh, in the central Atlantic, we've got two spots in the tropical Atlantic by our intertropical convergence zone, and one area that is expected to uh, have some potential development later on this week as it heads toward Bermuda. All right. Now, the next names on the list are Ida, Julian, and Kate. But why I'm thinking, you know, we won't have to worry about uh, crossing too, too many names off, at least in the next week or two, is because of our good old friend Saharan dust, or SAL, the Saharan air layer. And it sits thousands of feet up in our atmosphere, but it does help to prevent uh, the persistent thunderstorm activity or development, okay? We've actually got a decent amount of this plume of Saharan dust that's up into central and southern Florida. Here at home, we might have a little bit of that hazy sunrise, especially this morning in St. John's Flagler, maybe Putnam counties, but as we head across the Atlantic Basin, right, what's coming? We've got an even bigger, more dense area of that Saharan air layer, and that will continue to travel west across the Atlantic. So, of course, the more dry air we can get across the Atlantic, the better, at least for us, uh, in the sense that we might not see quite as many storms bubbling up into the near future. So, I digress.